So right beside the engineering building, which is this building over here, we have the Knight Physics Building. This is where all the physics classes and I believe research takes place, even though I know there's a lot of research off campus for the physics department. Uh, it's, it's a pretty big building. Not sure when it was built, but yeah, let's go take a look. So voice overing this again, this is the leftward entrance to the Knight Physics Building. And you kind of have this open area where everyone just like crosses about when they're going to the different classes i like walking in here it gives me a sense of like how big this college this uh, building is and yeah it's pretty beautiful we have some pictures of some great physicists over the years that's isaac newton obviously we also have albert einstein carrying over we have Galileo. Over here, we're in the court in the first floor corridor. Uh, this corridor is where all the labs are located. Again, there's kind of this view to the green area in between the engineering and the physics building. Again, some nice areas to study. That's pretty quiet. That's very isolated from campus. This stairway is the main entrance to the building. That's where most students go uh, go through. And that area which I just pointed is where the physics library is located. It's one of the three libraries that I use the most in the University of Miami. And you can literally find any physics book that you might wonder. To the left over there is an elevator to go up through the stairs. But again, as I said, that's the main en entrance. And this big uh, box of a building over here, I'll explain in a second what it is. So this big construction of a building is one of the biggest auditoriums we have on campus. If I believe the maximum capacity, obviously pre-COVID was 150 people at once. This is where they take usually the introductory physics classes like physics one, two, and three. Unfortunately, uh, I, I couldn't take physics three over here due to COVID. I'm gonna talk about physics classes. So, um, I had Yang as my professor. I did not like her classes. I sat at the back and I, maybe it's me. A lot of people around me have asked them and they said they had no problem with the professor. It's probably me. I don't like physics a lot. I'm pretty bad at physics and yeah, I probably couldn't focus because of that. But like on my opinion, her accent and the way she explains things it's it's a little bit like weird i i get i get bored and like my i don't focus when she's speaking i have it's it's just weird to understand what she's saying and what she's writing um yeah i couldn't do well in physics because i couldn't get a great explanation i basically have to have a very good a pretty good teacher to do well in physics she was i don't think she was bad i think she's okay it's just i'm the problem because of that i i thought she was bad but yeah yeah i can't tell you much about physics man it's just physics you do those uh kinetic stuff mechanical stuff you, you, you just gotta go through it it's i don't like it if you like it, good for you.